Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. My name is Taddy G and this channel is all about me taking you guys along for the journey with me as I build my clothing brand as well as letting you know about some things that I learn along the way because you know this is still a learning process for even me. In today's video, finally I am filming the part two to my t-shirt series and I'm going to be going through some t-shirt blanks that are on the market today. I'm going to be talking about their spec, trying them on and all that good stuff. I've got seven t-shirts. I don't want this video to be too too long so let's get into it So all the t-shirts in today's video are in a size large and they're all black because you know when you're doing like an experiment there's always like a control so that you can make sure that when you're doing your experiment you're kind of sort of giving every single t-shirt a chance. First up I've got what I would consider your lower budget, your budget, your super budget friendly t-shirt. I've got three t-shirts in this category. Let's talk about t-shirt number one. So to start off with we have got what they call the Gildan soft style ring spun cotton t-shirt this t-shirt is made out of 100% ring spun cotton the cotton is combed cotton I don't actually know what that means but if anybody wants to comment and let us know what combed cotton is then much appreciated weight wise it's a little lighter than what I typically like to go for so the white t-shirts are 144 gsm and the black t-shirts or any colored t-shirts those are 100 and 53 gsm sizes i believe start at small and they go all the way up to triple xl and price wise for this t-shirt the website i got it from bearing in mind that i actually only got one of each t-shirt this t-shirt cost me two pounds and 81 pence <laughs> i don't know why that lost my mind two pounds and 81 pence including vat so obviously with more you order the less the price is going to be so let's actually get into the t-shirt itself the t-shirt is actually really really soft it does say that it is the soft star t-shirt and i'm not too big a fan of the stitching that's going on here i don't even know what to call that kind of stitching to be honest it's got kind of like a rib type crew neck as well which i do like yeah it's okay i feel like this t-shirt is okay it's quite low in price and it's all right like if you're trying to look for like a relatively like lightweight t-shirt to use for your brand at a really good price so that's the gildan soft style t-shirt next up is another gildan t-shirt gildan bay gildan tends to get a little bit of stick because i feel like a lot of people use gildan when they're starting off and they might not necessarily like take out the tag guys if you're gonna start your own like t-shirt brand or you're using t-shirt blanks please take out the tag please it just i don't know it just adds a little bit more like professionalism to your brand i think so try and take out the tags i do have a video of how to re-sew tags i'll link it up here so this particular gildan t-shirt is called the gildan ultra cotton it's in a heavier weight and i can actually tell that it is it's made out of a hundred percent cotton but this time it doesn't say that it's combed cotton and i can actually feel the difference in both of the gildan t-shirts this one is a lot more like rough and it's actually not as black either weight wise the white is 193 gsm and the blacks or colored t-shirts are 203 gsm so it is a good weight but i'm not enjoying the overall feel of the t-shirt because it is quite rough in comparison to the soft style the sizes for this t-shirt range from a size small to 5xl which i think is really really good the stitching is also quite Quite similar to the other Gildan t-shirt that I showed you. I actually prefer the way this stitching looks as opposed to the first Gildan t-shirt that I showed you. I feel like this one's a lot neater. So that is that Gildan t-shirt. This is priced in at £2.95 including VAT. So the last t-shirt that I have in this low budget category is the infamous Fruit of the Loom. Guys, Fruit of the Loom gets so much bad I don't actually know why. To me, the t-shirts are not actually that bad. It does have the same feel as that last Gildan t-shirt. So this one is the Fruit of the Loom Super Premium t-shirt. And that's why I 
picked it up because they were calling it premium and it was still like at a really good price and I didn't know that Fruit of the Loom had like a premium section. So this is the Fruit of the Loom Super Premium t-shirt. It's made using again 100% cotton. I feel like all the t-shirts in this video are made using 100% cotton. The weight of this t-shirt, so the black and the colored t-shirts come in 205 GSM and the white t-shirts come in 190 GSM. I am not sure why there's a difference in, pro in, in weight when it comes to white and black. I guess it's the dye that adds a little bit more weight to the t-shirt when it goes through like the dyeing process. Correct me if I'm wrong. The sizes range from size small to XL, sorry, size small to 5XL. And the price of this t-shirt was £3.30 including VAT. So the details of this t-shirt, it's all right. Like it's got a really clean finish, a kind of ribbed collar. But what I will say, the camera kind of a little bit picks that up. I feel like the ribbon on this is a slightly different black to the black of the t-shirt. I feel like in terms of the way it feels, it is a lot softer than the last Gildan t-shirt that I showed you, but it still has that like, I don't know, like it's just not soft. But I do feel like if you're wearing this in the summer months, this kind of cotton is a kind of cotton that's gonna keep you like really cool. Although cotton is breathable by nature anyway, so both should keep you really cool. But this one's got like more of like a rough finish, if you know what I mean? So I feel like it might actually keep you a lot more cool than the soft style one. So that is the Fruit of the Loom t-shirt. So now we're moving into the category that I would consider more like middle range. I've got two t-shirts in this category, starting off with my personal, and I'm not trying to be biased or anything. I've I've seen a lot of t-shirt blank brands in my lifetime. And I feel like this brand is really, really good. And I've got a couple of t-shirts from this brand. So we're starting off with the Stanley Stella Rocker t-shirt. Now this t-shirt again, 100% organic cotton this time ring sprung cotton as well and this is super super soft the weight of this t-shirt is 150 gsm as well size wise it starts at extra small to 5xl i have no complaints about these t-shirts because like i said it's my favorite brand of blank t-shirt stanley stella look at the finish the finish is really really nice all round as well and tag wise it doesn't have like the big like bulky tag like the rest of them it just has like a little small size and tag there which i guess like you can keep on and then you can easily just sew in like your brand logo tag in here just makes things easier it's got another tag like down here as well which will show like what brand t-shirt it is so yeah that's the stanley stella rocker like good t-shirt i quite like the weight so the weight of this and the weight of the gildan is the same but this one feels like a little bit less see-through and i feel like i don't know I feel like it's just nice, but then again, I am by and I'm not trying to be biased or anything. Two seconds later, but then again, I am biased. This video is not sponsored by them or anything. I just you know, I sh I've shopped about it and Stanley Stella reigns supreme. So this is the Stanley Stella Rocker t-shirt. Oh, price. Sorry, I forgot to mention the price. So the price of this was £4.54, pence, including VAT. Next up, we have Bella and Canvas or Bella Canvas. And I do really like the Bella Canvas t-shirt. So again, we have got 100% cotton in this t-shirt as well. The the weight of this t-shirt is 145 GSM and the sizes range from extra small to double extra large. What I like about this t-shirt when compared with the Stanley Stella one, I like the size of the crew neck on this. The crew neck of the Bella canvas is a little bit bigger and the t-shirt itself is super, super soft as well. And I feel like the Bella canvas t-shirts are a lot blacker, if you know what I mean. The stitching on this t-shirt looks like this on the back i'm not into this like double line stitching i can't even lie like i just prefer like the like just that like one line if you get what i mean this t-shirt is called the bella canvas jersey crew neck and it's made using 100 percent ring sprung combed cotton so that probably explains why it's as soft as it is it's really nice i actually almost want to keep this t-shirt for myself because i like the lightness of it i feel like it'll be really good to wear on a summer's day the tag looks like this 
so it's not like inconspicuous like the Stanley Stella one you would probably need to like take this out and then put your own tag on top but yeah that is the Bella Canvas t-shirt and the price of this t-shirt is five pounds and three pence so the next category is gonna be my high-end ish t-shirts and i've got two t-shirts in this category so i've got two more t-shirts left and both t-shirts unfortunately guys are from the same brand they are from stanley stella because that is a brand where i have seen that i have got really good premium t-shirt the first t-shirt that i used for their one day t-shirt was actually the creator so the stanley stella creator t-shirt i haven't got it with me today that one i believe is 180 gsm and it's not as expensive as the t-shirts that i'm going to show you now but it is a really good t-shirt and we use those for the one day so if you have a one day t-shirt that t-shirt was made using the stanley stella creator t-shirts but let's get into the ones that i actually did get for this video so starting off with i need to check the tag stanley stella fuser now this one i had not heard of this one and the reason why i actually picked this one out was because it kind of sort of had that like oversized drop shoulder look that i really enjoy and that i know like a lot of brands really really enjoy this t-shirt is 100 percent organic ring sprung cotton as well i feel like all the stanley stella t-shirts are made using 100 percent organic cotton the weight of this t-shirt is 180 gsm so similar to the stanley stella creator that i used to use sizes range from extra small to 3xl i believe i quite like this t-shirt so it's got like the ribbed crew neck which i really really enjoy again it's stanley stella so the tag is like little and on the side as well this t-shirt is not as black as the bella canvas t-shirt but it is really good and it's got like that oversized look i'm actually quite looking forward to trying this on and showing you how it actually fits and it's got a nice thick collar it's the thickest collar of the colors that we've seen so far so that is the stanley stella fuser t-shirt and this t-shirt is priced in at seven pounds and 84 pence including VAT. So the very last t-shirt that we're going to be having a look at is my absolute favorite Stanley Stella t-shirt. This t-shirt is perfect guys. I can't even lie to you. Whenever anybody asks me like what t-shirt should I get for my clothing brand? I'm trying to go for that luxury look but I'm not actually quite ready to have t-shirts manufactured for me or look for a manufacturer but I want it to be high quality etc etc. I always suggest the stanley stella sparker which is this one i freaking love this t-shirt it is absolutely perfect it is super super soft it is again made using 100 percent organic cotton except this cotton is ring sprung and it's combed as well so it is like super super soft this t-shirt is 220 gsm it's got that gorgeous ribbed crew neck look and then this is like a different texture as well which i really really appreciate size wise it really just from extra small to double xl but again i feel like you can probably get a bigger size as well if you go like directly to them yo but the price of this i wasn't even shocked and i feel like the price has gone up but the price of this was nine pounds and 81 pence so it is on your high end but you definitely won't regret it so this one is my recommended t-shirt my fave can't even lie i'm not even gonna cap i love the stanley stella sparker t-shirt it's just so nice and i actually got inspired from it with like this ribbed crew neck i just ugh it's nice t-shirt guys so as mentioned my absolute favorite is the stanley stella sparker t-shirt i thought going through the t-shirts the other t-shirts i might change my mind but i haven't the stanley stella sparker still reigns supreme unfortunately it is the most expensive one but my favorite lower budget t-shirt it is probably gonna be either the bella canvas which is the mid the two middle range t-shirts it has to be so either the bella canvas or the other stanley stella ones i probably wouldn't go for any of the lower end ones i'm not even gonna lie to you because i don't i don't feel them if i had to go for one of the lower end ones i would probably pick the gildan soft style one because it's really soft well guys thank you so so much for watching this video if it's been helpful then please be sure to click that like button because again it really helps me reach more and more people like i said sis is on road to 10k subscribers please don't forget to subscribe if you're new here i upload videos weekly sometimes twice weekly depending how I'm feeling.
But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you, well, in part three of this video, but I will catch you very soon for another video. Thank you so much for watching.